Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whenever this reaches you. This is Matthew Robert Payne. Uh, this is teaching number 11 in the Personal Prophecy Series. This teaching is called, Can I Grow to Do Better Personal Prophecy? That's an interesting subject. I like this subject. Uh, I like most of the subjects. Some of them just have to be touched on. Some of them are more personal favorites. Now, Romans 12, 6. I don't know many scriptures by reference. I know thousands of scriptures in my mind, but I don't know many where they're referenced. But this one, I know where it's referenced. It's Romans 12, 6. It says, we all prophesy according to our faith. So, according to our faith, let us prophesy or something like that. You can't prophesy beyond your faith. I'll give you an example. Uh, I've only done, been involved in two miraculous healings in my life. Uh, I haven't got enough faith to prophetically speak healing over a person's life. I haven't got enough experience in healing to expect that my words would be obeyed by the supernatural and heal through a prophetic pronouncement through me. So uh, I'd send that to a prophet who's got more experience in those things if a prophecy request comes from, through me uh, for that. Uh, Romans 12.6, Scripture can never be wrong, we all prophesy according to our faith. So, our topic is, can I grow to do better personal prophecy? Now, um, when someone writes in a request, or someone comes to you with a request, they share an a issue with you and they want you to speak prophetically into the issue, if you've got no faith for the issue being resolved, it's very hard for you to go before the Lord without a biased opinion of what the Lord might be saying. For instance, um, for a long time I believe second marriages were adultery. Uh, there's, uh, Jesus even says in Mark 10, 11, anyone who's, who marries a divorced woman commits adultery and anyone, any man who divorces a woman or remarries commits adultery. And it's in plain English there, what's been said. And for many years, I couldn't prophesy into people having second marriages because my doctrinal belief disagreed with it. So I'd send those prophecy requests to other people who may be able to speak into that, or I just simply wouldn't I'd say we're not going to prophesy over that. I don't think I sent them somewhere else. I say on my website that we don't prophesy uh, over uh, should this person be my partner uh, on my website. And Bill Hammond in Prophets and Personal Prophecy suggests that people don't prophesy that and he says also to be very careful about prophesying specific dates in prophecy. Um, so, um, you can prophesy a date if the Lord really impresses upon you, but he suggests that you don't, because that can be called a false prophecy if it doesn't come true on that date. The prophecy could come true, but uh, it may be five years after the date that you got in your head. So it still could be true, but the person for five years may think it's not true. Um, so can you grow to do better personal prophecy? Yeah, according to what you believe. Um, I've, I've spoken to people many times and they've felt their anointing grow when they're talking to me live on Facebook. They, the presence of the Lord and the anointing on their life grows double when they're talking to me. They can feel my anointing 
through through the airwaves, through through, through technology, uh, to computers talking to each other. I've on multiple occasions prayed for a person over the internet, and their skin has got hot, and the presence of the Lord has been burning their skin. And I've I've passed on mantles, the prophetic mantle, the office of prophet, onto certain people over the internet. And uh, I've got faith for that. I've got faith for things that I've done once or twice with success. I have faith for doing it more often. You know, if we had the Apostle Peter here, he'd have faith to walk on water again. Because he did walk on water. And he has walked on water. So he'd have faith for doing that. So, um, let me be very uh, clear with you here. Um, that every gift comes perfect down from the Father. So uh, you can do perfect, fantastic prophecies from your very first prophecy. But it is possible, according to your doctrines and according to your successes in the Christian faith, to prophesy better than you did when you started. Uh, the more doctrinally correct you are to the pure truth, of the Word of God, the more sharper your prophecies will be, the more beautiful they'll be. Um, I know a lady who, who, who's on what, what, one of the people on my team who knows a tremendous amount of scripture, tremendous amounts of scripture, and in a prophecy she may quote 15 scriptures for people to look up and meditate on. They're all relevant words in the Word of God that are rhema words, living words for those people in their situation right now. Uh, she can do a lot better prophecies than people that don't know all those scripture references. Uh, God uses, um, whether you like it or not, God uses our intellect and our knowledge of scripture to prophesy. He's limited to what knowledge we have of the word of God to be able to prophesy those words of God in the prophecy. Sure, he can give a prophecy that's a scripture without us knowing it's a scripture. But most often when he's quoting scripture in a prophecy, it's scripture that we know. And we can understand contextually what he's saying about that scripture. So, yes, it is better. The more word of God you know, the more faith you have for the signs and wonders, the more faith you have for miracles and healing, the better you can prophesy. Uh, your prophecy can be limited by your knowledge of God. Do you understand that? Uh, I, um, I was especially happy with someone who uh, is on my team who's lived with horrendous migraines for seven years without a let up. Um, and uh, she asked for prayer today and I found myself crying today, hoping the Lord could fix her. And I sent her an email back when I got home. And she said when she got my email, she felt the power of God go through her and 75% of her pain has left. Um, that gives me more faith to prophesy in healing and moving signs and wonders. So, can I grow to do personal prophecy? Sure you can. This is the end of this teaching.